Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in Birmingham today. Just come to see some of the trams in Birmingham now. We're going to get out of the wind. We're going to get into Snow Hill Station. I'm going to show you where this new heritage tram system for Birmingham is going to be. So if we walk through here, we're now coming into Birmingham Snow Hill Station. Just here, just there where those doors are with the no entry signs, that was the entrance to the original Midland Metro platforms. Now what's going to happen, because they've been lying derelict, the plan is to turn them into a heritage tramway to run the preserved T69s. They were the original trams on the Midland Metro when it opened in 1999. So there's some that have been preserved. The plan is to run them up and down from the overgrown station, which you can see down there. You can see the abandoned escalator. That's going to be brought back into use, as will the lift. So what will happen is you'll come to Birmingham Snow Hill, you'll be able to get down there, you'll be able to go for a little tram ride, just up to the end of the platform to just before where the, um, the new line was put in. Let's just go through here and we'll be able to have a look down to the platform. So if we stand here, there's the abandoned platform down there. And you can see the railway lines there. See, the original plan had been to make this into a fourth platform for Birmingham Snow Hill, but as that hasn't happened, it's been decided to create a heritage tram system. So what will happen is you've got two platforms, one can wait there, the other can go up and down, and then they can swap. And also what you'll be able to do, the plan is to get some single-decker heritage tramways from various other cities. They'll perhaps have some on loan from other heritage tramways, and it will provide um, a really exciting new attraction for Birmingham. So what we're gonna do now, we'll go down onto the platforms and, um, we shall see exactly where you'll be able to go on this heritage tram. So, got my ticket for the ticket barriers. So as we go down here, we should go down and I'll show you where it's gonna go. So if you look immediately, we can already see the track down there. So you'll have a ride underneath Snow Hill. And what will possibly happen if it's successful, they'll reconnect it to the original line and um, they'll do some heritage tram rides, perhaps up to Wolverhampton sometime, but that'll probably only happen at weekends and bank holidays. So I'm really excited that this is going to happen. I think, um, you know, it's great that there's going to be this new heritage tram system in Birmingham. So you probably won't access it this way. It'll be accessed um, so it's outside the ticket barriers. But there we are. There's a view of the abandoned platforms, which are very soon going to be brought back into use and be able to ride the preserved T69s just for a, like I said, a short ride, but occasionally on weekends and bank holidays, you know, you'll be able to go for a longer ride. Um, we need more heritage tram systems, so yeah, it's great this is going to happen in Birmingham. Let's just go and see exactly where it's going to go. So there's the points there. Let me get another view of the abandoned platforms just waiting to be brought back into use. Where we started the video is just over there on the other side of that fence. That's where the modern trams currently run. It may even be possible for a T69 to make occasional trips on the new section, although they'll only be able to go as far as Grand Central because there's no wires beyond Grand Central because it's the UK's first wireless tram line, as in it has no catenary. The modern trams run on batteries. So we're just going to keep going along here and I'll show you where you go. So the ride will start off, you know, fairly dark in the station and then once you get out of the station, there's a monster story car park above us and um, you'll, you'll get a view over to St Chad's Cathedral. And sometimes steam trains come through here on charter trains, so when they run vintage trams you'll be able to get the cameo of, say, a, a hall or a castle on a vintage tram. It's going to be really exciting. So yeah, really looking forward to it. This is where the view changes. So there, just there, you can just see the wires. We might see a tram come along of the new line, which takes the Midland Metro up to New Street and now onto Centenary Square. And there's more views of Birmingham. Just go up to where the ride will be. So like I said, on most days, you won't actually go far. There is also talk of them putting in another platform at St Chad's. So you would at least be able to to get off at the other end. So there'll probably be a little platform here and you can ride on the heritage tram to here because that, that's the current St Chad stop. Over there St Chad's Cathedral 
and then as you can see the track currently ends there so they'll put a buffer there to start with but then um, like I said if it becomes successful the plan is to connect it up to the existing Midland Metro network so hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching and from Birmingham Snow Hill station and the up-and-coming um, Heritage Midland Metro tramway goodbye